Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Hasib Electronics. In our this series, discontinuous flyback SMPS using 3843 IC and making discontinuous flyback transformer. We calculated DC rule, we calculated primary current, we calculated the inductance value. In last video, we discussed what is the discontinuous flyback transformer. Now to design a SMPS transformer, any flyback transformer, the basic and the most important parameter that is the core selection for any transformer. I think the magnetic selection is the hardest point in winding the transformer. If we select a core perfectly, that means our transformer will perfect. When the transformer is perfect, the circuit will work properly. Now let us see how we can select a core for a flyback transformer. For a flyback, we have different ways to select a core. The first way, the easiest method, that is power handling chart. To use this power handling chart, we need P out. P out is 5 volt 2 ampere, that is 10 watt. And auxiliary winding, suppose I need 12 volt 0.5, that is 6 watt. It is total 16 watt. So that means we are going to select our transformer for 16 watt. So to design a transformer for 16 watt we have to consider this char chart. It is power in watts at different frequency ranges. We have 250, 200 kHz and we need 16 watt. But these cores in this typical power handling chart these cores are for push-pull topology and we are using flyback to flyback we have to derate by 3 or 4 3 or 4 that means we need 16 multiply by 4 64 watt it is maximum 250 kilohertz and it is 78 so we can use 40 140 and at 250 it is giving 78 watt so we have to adjust in this area we can use in PQ core 3 to 1 4 EE core 2 to 1 6 because it is giving 83 watt at 250 and we are using between these so we can select this core so these are the core numbers we can select it is a rough idea to select a exact co exact core we have to use formulas but it is a useful method now move to second here we have to derate suppose I need to design a 60, 16 watt so if I select the maximum factor 4 so I will multiply 16 multiplied by 4 or 16 multiplied by 3 so 48 to 64 watt I have to select the co core from this chart at 200 kilohertz first method first approach now we will check another method typical power handling then we have AP method area product method window area and core area area product method window area core area 60, 63, 6.33 L primary multiply by IPK 
primary peak current winding area primary 10 raised to power 8 divided by V max now you have to select the B max 6.33 it is for flyback but when we use this formula it is for primary only if we want to select primary and the same amount of winding is for secondary so to calculate the both winding because if we use this formula we feel some trouble sometime the window area needs more space so for that 25 L primary IPK peak current in primary window area primary 10 raised to power 8 divided by B max it is the best formula 25 L primary IPK window area primary area 10 raised to power 8 and B max it is the best formula for using AP method now what the result will come just only come to this chart it is a perfect formula suppose for example our value becomes 0.2 so we can select any of these cores EE cores, PQ cores, EED, RM we can select any of these cores there is another method that is most useful technique also very very nice for flyback that is DC bias that is LI scare L in millihenry ampere for LI method we have a guideline from magnetics incorporation that is technical bulletin selecting a distributed air gap powder core for flyback transformers it gives all details I will upload these papers in the description of this video here is core selection method to select a core P out output power in watts V in minimum that is in our case 100 volt B max maximum duty cycle time on in our case 48 percent now we have to mention here 0.48 time on plus time off 48% plus 48% and the remaining 4% is dead time so we have to give frequency in kilohertz using equation number 1 the peak current can be determined 2p out v in minimum b max we have to select b max from b max chart now for selection of b max we have to go to this area it is for p material flex density vs frequency p material we have to select the material and we have to follow that chart for that material for the respective core and we can use this chart and the amount of flux density for that for that material then we have to reach here primary peak current and for primary peak current we have other formulas without B max IPK we calculated here that is VDC low time on L primary if we calculated L primary then we can use this formula and if we are using to take this approach 2P out V in minimum B max so in both ways the result will same IPK V DC low T on divided by L primary so in both methods this way or this way this formula and this formula are the same 
we will take the maximum peak current and we can use L primary V in minimum B max I P K multiply by F it will come in millihenry the result will in millihenry and we can also calculate the inductor value VDC low T on square divided by 2.5 that is for flyback transformer T time P out it is in step number 7 we calculated it in step number 7 we can use this method or we can use that method the both result will the same amperes and millihenry so using this ampere and millihenry IPK 0.5787 for example you have to calculate your value 0.5787 ampere multiply by 414.72 microhenry so to convert it in millihenry 0.414 so ampere square multiply by the amount of inductor it is 0.1386 so when we calculate L i square when we determine the value L i square core selection procedure now we have to move the core selection chart L i DC by chart here we have DC bias chart this is for, for MPP for MPP course point 0.1 we have point 0.13 so slightly right to point 0.1 come here go in the top side point 0.1 point 0.13 go here suppose I selected this core for example 5290 when you will select this score then we have to calculate number of turns AW AWC that is number of turns winding primary or secondary wire area winding area N wire area AWC core area so it should more than 40% to 50% the free area if the core filling is less than this then we have to select the upper number suppose we selected 5 to 9 0 then we have to switch for example we selected a core we will go to data sheet and then we will select the core area when we select core area then come to this formula number of turns in primary dot aw winding area and awc number of turns wire area awc core wire area if the 40 to 50 percent if the result is less than 40 to 50 percent then we have to go to the other core then we have to go the upper range we have to select 50 40 that is for MPP cores and if we want to use E cores then we have to select here 0 0.1 0 0.13 suppose then we have to select the first intersecting line A for A we have to come this area L I square is higher value then we have to select the next intersecting core and we have to go to the core A B C D and then we have to select the proper core then there is other approach that is also for the same AP method we can calculate AP method this AP method exact for for the flyback if we want to select a core 
we can calculate directly from this formula for AP method for primary and secondary and then we have another formula and here it is flyback circuit because uh, flyback is unipolar and all details are here you have to select the Bmax hysteresis and Bmax and here it is a design for flyback so here we have general formula for core selection for different topologies to calculate this formula power out PO DCMA current density and circular mills per ampere circular mills per ampere so we have to select this one then K topology for K topology for flyback for multiple winding because flyback have single winding for multiple winding for multiple winding we have to use K topology point triple zero two five B max and frequency so in this way the result will the same here this result and the outcome from this result, this formula will same sorry one two and the third is P out DCMA divided by K topology B max F so using this formula number three this method or this method we can use the AP chart next is DC bias we selected the four method for selecting flyback we discussed four methods to select a core for flyback transformer next we will calculate and we will locate the core and then we will calculate the number of turns in primary secondary and all methods for winding I hope so this video is informative for you if it is useful like subscribe and share if you want thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh